Hello everybody, this is Phil and I am back to do another video for you guys and today's video is going to be a movie review. It is a movie review on a horror flick. Oh my god, yeah, I watched a horror movie. Uh, yeah, I'm the girl who actually watches romantic comedies and sci-fi and yeah, I watched a horror film I don't know why but I did <laughs> um, It is on a movie called the healing it was I believe shown October or so 2012 and it is a Filipino movie. It's like I said a horror thriller suspense movie um and it stars Vilma Santos and Kim Chu, uh, so, uh, as well as a whole slew of very veteran actors in the Philippines who are quite famous. Um, but on the top of my head, yeah, it's starring Vilma Santos and Kim Chu. And this is the poster I'm going to show you. I actually bought this on DVD, but I can't find a DVD right now. So I'm going to show you guys the, the picture poster on my um, tablet. But anyways, um, the healing, uh, the movie first starts off a little bit of a blood summary. <laughs> the trailer is actually going to be linked down below so you guys can watch it as well. And I'll have more information on the doobly-doo in the description box as well. But it starts off um, with, let me see, what was her name? Um, yeah, Vilma Santos, if you guys don't know, she's a very famous actress veteran actress in the Philippines so this is one of I think this is her comeback movie that she came back um, doing movies after a few years of being in political office so uh, in the movie Vilma Santos plays Seth who um, is a fervent believer of healings which are like um, alternative medicine um, faith healing in the Philippines. Um, this is what the movie is mostly about. But she brings her dad um, who is very sick and he ends up miraculously getting healed by this faith healer um, named Manang Elsa. And um, because of that, all of her neighbors who are suffering from ailments uh, one lady, um, she has a tumor on her throat so she can't speak. One other lady has like a lump in her breast. The other one has this growth going on on her feet because she's diabetic. There's another guy who has psoriasis. Anyways, her whole neighborhood kind of comes to her and asks her to bring them into this faith healer to get themselves also healed because her dad had this miraculous um, good health. So, um... She brings them to the faith healer, but on that day, the faith healer is actually sick. And the faith healer's brother says, you know, she, Manang Elsa cannot heal anybody right now. Um, you'll have to go back. But she, Seth kind of starts um, convincing the lady and sh the faith healer eventually relents and actually starts healing these people. One by one, all of her neighbors um, and her friends start to um, get healed. Uh, also, one of the people who actually went is Kim Chu, which is um, her ex-husband's daughter. Um, and she's suffering from some renal disease, some problem with her kidneys. And she ends up going as well to that faith healer. And also, she too as well is miraculously healed. Um, I'm not going to mention something else from the plot because it's very crucial to what happens and um, in the ending. So, um, but... What happens is that eventually, one by one, all of her neighbors um, who become uh, healed go crazy and kill themselves. So it becomes then a race to find out what's going on, what's triggering all of these deaths. And um, it kind of is in part because of that faith healer. Um, and there's a lot of suspense to that in the movie. And it was became a race to actually save Kim Chu's character, who I think her name there is Cookie. So it's it became a race for to save Cookie uh, and make sure she doesn't go through the same thing and um, suffer an untimely demise. Um, there's a lot of... Um, the thing about this movie, it's because it's very cultural. Like, if you're not familiar with the Filipino culture, um, Filipinos are very, very religious, but we're also, um, 
We also have beliefs in the supernatural and faith healing. There's a lot of that in the culture. And if you feel like you're not getting um, the results you wanted from the medical doctor, you'd go to a faith healer who would like pour chicken blood on you or something or do some weird prayer thing. Um, to get you healed and that's the subject of this movie and how those things can actually have maybe some horrific horror um, suspense ramifications and how that can affect people who believe in it um, I just gotta say though like Vilma Santos oh my god she's I think I've watched so much of her movies just because she's such a veteran and a very good actress in the Philippines um, and she's just she's just spot on in this movie. Kim Chu is very serviceable as Cookie. Um, and I just also want to comment as well on the uh, graphics on this movie. The comp the the CGI on this movie is actually pretty decent for a Filipino movie. I think um, they did really well in terms of incorporating it and using it as a plot to you know shock viewers but also um, a lot of it kind of felt short there was a part that um like when they become crazy like the character's eye becomes like really big and it kind of started become looking kind of cartoonish so um it was so so i think like about 70 percent they succeeded on using um computer generated graphics um on it um what else should i say about the movie uh very very cute acting from martin del rosario who played um vilma santos's son there in the movie i think he he added a very um handsome face in the movie and you're kind of like you know you, it's it's a pretty face to look at um also what else i think like for me it's as a medical professional, as a nurse, it's hard for me to really grasp that um, traditional way of looking at things and like going through a faith healer to kind of, you know, get your health back. Um, but also, um, I know that there's a lot of people in my family who believe that and actually do a lot of things like tawas or pinapausukan or a lot of folk remedies. So. Um, I don't know. I feel like, you know, it's a scary movie. The thought of it really was just very suspenseful to me. It was really scary in the right moments and I enjoyed it in that way. And also, it's kind of just a fun movie to watch even though I don't think I believe most part of it. But yeah, um, I give this movie a 4 out of 5. I think if they were a little bit more spot on on the computer generated effects, I would be much more willing to give it a higher rating. But um, there's a lot of Filipino horror movies that I can recommend. There's like Suko, there's T2, uh, a whole bunch of them. Um, Feng Su, there's like a lot. Like Filipinos love their horror genre. So yeah, um, check out this movie. I'll put more information down in the doobly-doo for you guys. And also the trailer if you want to check it out. And subscribe if you guys want more movie reviews from me. And follow the um, videos that I'm going to be posting on this channel. And also as well, follow me on Twitter, Miss Manderly. Um, and yeah, that's going to be it. Bye.